Hey guys, we're tuned back into episode four of What's Cooking Good Looking, starring Chrissy, that's me, your favorite food and lifestyle blogger. I'm here to show you how to make honey Cajun salmon. It was a hit for Christmas Eve, and I'm recreating it for you so that you can enjoy it with your family and put dinner on the table in no time. Be sure to like and share this video for all those food lovers out there that would love to make this dish. So let's get started. Hi everyone, welcome back. I am so excited for this week's episode. So if you've been following my stories, then you know on Christmas Eve, well, you know that my family celebrates Christmas on Christmas Eve. So Christmas Eve, I made this honey Cajun salmon that was OMG delicious. And what's so wonderful is that I didn't take any great photos. <laughs> so here we are back to make it again. The honey Cajun salmon. I'm pairing it with mashed potatoes and green beans. And I'm so excited to give you this recipe. It's super easy. It's super simple. It does not take a lot of ingredients and it does not take a lot of time. So we're only going to be doing the honey Cajun salmon. I mean, I'm making the mashed potatoes and green beans and they're going to be brewing on the side, but that's not the feature of this episode. The feature of this episode is the honey Cajun salmon that your family will love. So let's get started. I can honestly say I'm a family cook. So a lot of times, um, so what I found is that it's easier for me to make budget friendly meals for families um, as opposed to like the typical person that lives alone, which is me. Um, <laughs> my family lives close by, so it's great for me to be able to throw something quick together. And typically they just, it's almost like the, uh, the birthday drive-bys that we started to incorporate when we were all in quarantine. That's exactly how the food drive-bys are. They stop by, they grab the food, they go home. So my niece and my sister-in-law are coming over for dinner and I'm very excited to have them. And we're going to make this honey Cajun salmon because, because my niece eats like a 50 year old man. Like she has a very big appetite. It's amazing. <laughs> and I know she's going to love this salmon because she loved it on Christmas Eve. This episode is a little different because I'm going to take you on my Safeway tour. So a lot of times in the food blogging world, I know that uh, you see the, um, the folks that do the Trader Joe's runs or the, um, the Whole Foods runs, store runs, but I don't hardly ever see anyone talk about like their regular grocery stores, right? It's started to come back to the scene slowly, but I love Safeway. I have a local Safeway that's about 10, 15 minutes from my house tops and I shop there all the time. So where I do my Trader Joe's runs and my Whole Foods runs and they're all great, um, Safeway is like my go-to. So I took some time today to kind of show you um, what going on a grocery run with me looks like. I get some things that I do really need that are on my grocery list. I get a lot of other things that I don't really need that are not on my grocery list. But all the same, they still work. Uh, so we're going to go on that tour at Safeway real quick. And then when we come back, I'm going to show you the salmon that I got and we're going to start dinner. Okay, guys. So I'm going grocery shopping at Safeway, which is my favorite shop. Um, I've got a bunch of items that I need to get, but I'm definitely grabbing some items for the Cajun honey salmon. And I'm going to pair that with some garlic, creamy garlic mashed potatoes um, and green beans. So off we go. groceries are put up we're ready to cook our salmon so typically with my fish I rinse it off it's just a personal practice I rinse it off before I even start working with it um, and then I'm always going to check for bones because even though you have a fillet sometimes there's still bones in there oh, I think I found one and so you always want to make sure that you kind of grab those bones out um, you know especially if you have kids that are going to be eating your fish and you can just I mean you can legit just kind of feel in there and I definitely found a bone. Um, pulling it out. And there we go. All right. So, and then 
once you've kind of felt it out and you've gotten all the bones out, you are ready to pat your fish dry. So one of the things that a lot of people don't recognize is that when you pan sear a fish, one, you wanna make sure it's room temperature. And so I haven't put this salmon in the fridge. Um, so you can let your salmon sit for a few minutes because it's going to get to room temperature and it's going to cook more evenly. And then so it makes it for an even cooking experience um, for your meat. So another thing, you pat it dry. I think I said that already, but <laughs> you're gonna pat you're gonna pat your fish dry because it's going to take in all of that flavor and that moisture will kind of mess that up. So just pat and dry both sides before I trim it. Okay, so now that our salmon is dry, we're ready to cut it and then add the Cajun seasoning. So this is a honey Cajun salmon. You're actually not putting the salmon, the honey on until the very end. Um, and we're cooking it in our oven at 350 degrees. Speaking of which, let me set that. Okay, now, <laughs> so you, I'm going to cut these pieces uh, in about one, one and a half inches. And then you're just gonna slice them. <sighs> Y'all know it's Sammy's world here. Let me find, let me make sure she's good so that I can continue my episode. Okay, sounds like she just saw somebody passing by. Oh, the joys of having a dog. Or for some of my uh, followers, oh, the joys of having children. <laughs> they can definitely sometimes make vlogging very difficult. <laughs> All right. So we've got the pieces cut, and now we're ready to add that Cajun seasoning. I'm gonna pat them dry one more time before we add that seasoning. And we're also ready to start our oil. Okay, so we're ready. I patted them dry a little bit more. We're ready to add the Cajun seasoning. So I am using the Safeway brand Cajun seasoning. And all you're gonna do is on your first side, you're just gonna sprinkle that Cajun seasoning over that salmon. easy you don't need too too much but you want to give it a good coating because that's what's going to give it that Cajun blackened flavoring so and then I'm just going to rub these babies a little bit to kind of smooth out that blackened blackened seasoning and then I've got a little bit of a kosher salt and pepper blend just like a makeshift home blend that I have and so I'm just sprinkling a few little kosher salt pieces on there that you don't need too much because the Cajun seasoning also already has a little bit of like a saltiness going for itself anyway so you don't need too much and now we're ready because we're going to blacken this side first and then we're going to pour the rest of the Cajun seasoning on the other side while it's in the pan. So our oil is getting to that hotness that we're looking for. And one of the ways you can always test is by just sprinkling some water on there. And you see that snap, crackle, and pop that's going on? That indicates to you that your oil is pretty much ready. So, just gonna squeeze it out, make sure, oh yeah, there it is, look at that pop. Okay, so we're gonna start by adding one tablespoon of garlic. And you're just gonna Move that baby out over the pan. Let it kind of cook up a little bit. There we go. That one really got real good in the pan. Okay, and that garlic is going to do nothing but cook up with that salmon. So once you've got that going, you're ready to add your salmon. So, each piece you're gonna add Cajun side face down. So one piece right there. Another piece. Face them out. Make sure I get everything in there. You want to make sure you give enough room so that you can flip them. I don't have to burn myself. <laughs> Alright. And there you have it. We're going to 
let those babies cook. And in the meantime, we're gonna add the Cajun seasoning to this other side. So while that's, down, while that's cooking, while that's cooking, you're just gonna pour the Cajun seasoning to the other side of the fish. So the black it on both sides. And I actually didn't have that much Cajun seasoning left. <laughs> Look at me. But it was just enough to give that side a nice coating. And then you're also gonna just sprinkle your share of salt and pepper there. And we're just gonna let those babies cook. Salmon has cooked on that one side for about three to four minutes. You're ready to flip it. So you're just gonna take it and be careful. Salmon's kind of a flaky fish. So I'm not gonna eat it into the mess. And we're just gonna flip that salmon over. You see how gorgeous it is? It's so pretty, so nice and long. I think it's even in the And so you're going to let these cook on the other side for about two to three minutes and then you're, you'll be ready to stick it in the oven. So after those couple of minutes, before you put it in the oven, you're going to just put a little bit of stock in there. You can use fish or chicken stock. I have chicken stock, so I use chicken. And that's just going to allow those babies to cook up good. And then you're ready for the honey. So I have some clover honey that I'm using. And then you're just going to drizzle it. Oh, sorry, it's a little much. You're just going to drizzle it over the honey, over the salmon. <laughs> and then you're ready to stick it in the oven. So I just turned my eye off. And I'm going to stick these babies in the oven and you're going to let them cook for about 8 to 10 additional minutes so that the interior cooks up good. So I just pulled the fish out of the oven and it's pretty ready. It looks so good. I'm so excited. But it legit, <laughs> that's my niece in the background. Um, <laughs> but it legit cooked up very well. Um, the fish looks so good. And it is pretty much ready to devour. Um, I definitely, I think I originally said that it was only eight minutes, but we did it for about 12 to 14 minutes, uh, which gave the interior a little bit longer to cook. Um, but yeah, it's flaky. It's crisp. It is dinner in no time. Okay guys, thanks so much for joining me today. This is a super easy recipe to make. Again, um, all of the recipe is linked in my, um, my blog. And so you can find that at eatingwithchrissy.com. Uh, the honey Cajun salmon came out amazing and we're so excited to eat it. We're waiting on our mashed potatoes right now. So we're going to watch us some cocoa melon as we prepare for dinner. Um, oh, and I've got some wine. Let me, let me show you the wine. So this wine I'm really excited about. It's from Sugarloaf Mountain Vineyard. It's a rosé. So I'm really excited about trying this wine with my sister-in-law. Um, and it's actually made in Maryland. It is from Dickerson, Maryland. So it's made in Maryland. I mean, how cool is that? So we're gonna, ha we're gonna pair this with our salmon. Um, and I'm excited to drink that. I'll link them here too. And then you can also find this episode on YouTube. So be sure to check out my YouTube channel. Um, and I will definitely have a pin for Pinterest for this recipe as well, because we're doing a few things differently in 2021. And so, yeah, come Rosari, come say, come say bye. So yeah, so I'm excited. Um, be sure to tune in next week for all, for a whole new episode and say bye bye. Oh, now you don't, now you don't want to say nothing. There you go. There you go. Mm -hmm. Bye. We'll see you next time.